back with another mess. <laughs> Merry Christmas, y'all. What's up? So, y'all, I ain't gonna last five this video right back over because I was just, mm -mm, we gotta redo it. Mm -mm, we gotta redo it. Look, Mercury Rich Gray come right on out. Mm -mm, it's crazy because right there, show up in his uh, Mercury Rich Gray. Mm -mm, gonna have to redo it. Mm -mm. Some of y'all might have to redo some stuff. I don't know. Like, some of y'all might be beating y'all stuff up a little too much. Let me tell you this because that song, hey, my baby came out. It mean you, you got a little inner, you got some inner sadness somewhere that's floating around, okay? So, the next 24 hours, Spirit wants you to focus on what can I do at this moment. Don't focus on tomorrow. Don't focus on yesterday. What can you do at this moment to change? See, in order to change the future and have a better future, get what you got to do. You got to focus on the now. Okay? Focus on the now. What can you do in the now? And some of y'all need to learn how to tap into the inner child where you like, don't be so serious. You know what I'm saying? Tap into the inner child. Do something that, that what you used to like do when you was a kid. Okay, like if you never too old for that. Okay, what was your favorite foods when you was a kid? What was your favorite movies? Some of y'all might need to go tap into that. Like I like Christmas movies and stuff like that. I like to cry. I mean Christmas movies and stuff like that. So I sometimes I do that. Sometimes I turn my phone off because especially when I'm a little agitated, I turn their phone off. Cry me a little bit, cry me a real bit. And I also watch, I love romantic movies. I don't understand how I watch all the romantic movies and didn't know I was a sucker girl. I like a love girl, baby. I also love a girl, but I also know how to get in that queen of swords. You know what I'm talking about, love. I love you. And I also know, so F you. <laughs> anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so it said, uh, you could be coming up with an idea. So try to make sure you keep your journal around so you can uh, quiet your... Also, you can make room for uh, the clarity and the downloads the Spirit is trying to give you. You uh, give you at this time. Try to focus on the positive and don't be so focused on the future. What can you do at this moment? Spirit has a gift for you, but it takes uh, it takes you to quiet your mind. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I told y'all, dreamland been crazy. I've been having some crazy dreams. Like, and I also was getting some downloads for for my collective or whatever, and I I can't remember. I think it was the other day, yesterday. Like dreamland, I don't know if it's like, like are y'all having crazy dreams too? Like what's going on? The dream I had last night was crazy. Oh my god! And it be shooting videos all types of like what? What was going on? Is this past life stuff or something? What was I a killer? <laughs> was I killing folks? I was chopping folks. Fall, fall. I'm jumping in quick in here. Okay, yeah. So whatever this is, I feel like it's going to ascend you from some type of codependent or addiction to something. Some of y'all might have a scarcity mindset or a scarcity energy trying to come back up as well. And I feel like whatever know whoever this loved one is could be trying to make you like, hey, I feel like it's your angels. Okay, it, it could be like somebody that you know is weird. It could be a grandparent or like a, a auntie or something like that as well. I feel like they could be watching over you and making sure you're like, hey, they're trying to lead you to another way. I feel like they could be trying to touch your heart as well. Because they like they want you to know that you got a, a loving spirit. This this could be somebody who always told you have a loving spirit. And it's like you could have lost it or you trying like you cover it up or you don't pay attention to it. Okay, what's going on? Like they, they see more than what you see. Okay, it's, it's more to you than me to add. Yeah, payback. Some y'all finna be getting some type of good thing. Okay, what is this studying? I, oh, I smile that they keep the haters away, try to see happiness. What is this? Yeah, smiling face was sad. So they also could be warning you about somebody as well too because a lot of y'all could be ascending from a, um, a past connection that also could have been codependent. This could have been somebody who want to come back towards you and want to spoil you. Or this could have been somebody that, um, they wanted to give you, uh, give you love, but I feel like they couldn't. Something like that. It's like both of y'all could have been going through something. Some of y'all might have dealt with a Taurus or a Virgo. Yes, that God has grace over you, fine. God has grace over you. What is this? Who is this someone I want to... It's okay to be angry and never okay to be cruel. Who is this? Who is this uh this person they wanna put that the haters today? You got someone wanna spoil you. Accept what it is or let go of what it was and have faith in what it what it will be. They still can't keep up with you. You won the race. Time to turn pain into blessings. And it says speak life over yourself. Door point at the door, do things that you uh do things. For people that's um do things for people not for uh not because who they are but for uh okay it said do things for people not because who they are 
or what they do in return, but because who you are. Yeah, I feel like this could have been somebody who was sporty or they do nice things for you and then they throw it back in your face or they try to take it back. This could be somebody very, like, got a lot of conditional love. This could be somebody who also could have some type of wounds as well. That they, like, somebody could have mommy issues or daddy issues. It's like somebody who carry a lot of burdens. This could be somebody who likes to sit in their own blood. Instead of them getting out of their own blood, they'd rather sit in it. This could be somebody who's trying to pop back at, at, um, at your door as well, too. I told y'all it's Christmas time, and your exes want to come back around and see if you, if you back open up. Yeah, you unbothered and people hate that. This is somebody who's mad about this. Yeah, life is not uh, the opposite of success. It's part of it. And some of y'all, I'm going to tell you just like this. Right now is the time to reflect and relook. And some of y'all might be sad and crying over spilled milk about an old relationship as well. Even this person not around. I feel like you might be feeling this person engine. That's what I was feeling on, uh, on the other page. What is this? Like, you might, like, you might finna be arising over the, the conflict or something like that. What is this? Yeah, like, it's like, like, spirit, like, yo, people want you to know that you are very beautiful and very attractive, especially at this moment. So, this also, like, like, you are the star in the relationship as well, too. Like, just because somebody played with you and just because they rejected you don't mean you're not good enough. Or somebody didn't play out right. Like, I feel like somebody, like, it wasn't meant for some, something to work out like, like it was. I feel like something was like a codependent relationship. And I feel like this could have been something that you was passionate about at first. And I feel like you end up falling apart and you had to leave. Okay? Because I feel like somebody wanted to hold on to you or hold on to certain type of birds. And I feel like they could have been in their head a lot. I feel like somebody could have, um... They could have uh, had their judgment clouded when it came to you as well. They might not know what was for them due to them. Could be they could have been a people pleasing too or chasing up behind money or something else. It's like they could have been listening to other people. They was, they was focusing on something more. It, even if they was focusing on um, another third party, they don't also got to be no person or thing. It's like they could have always been worried about money or worried about. They could be. They could have been feeling their wounds a lot. Yeah, this could have made somebody stub. They said, get some elf and sleep. You are being an ASS because you are elf and tired. So face to the pillow now. Yeah, it said, eat your elf and vegetables. Eat some stuff made by Mother Nature. Be elf and grateful. Stuff could be much worse. Yeah, so, like, I feel like both of y'all could have be a little bitter or y'all could be holding resentment towards this connection as well. This also could be somebody who still got romantic feelings about for you. And it could want to come towards you. Okay, I feel like this could be somebody that's reflecting on the situation or you might be in, um, in, this, in the next 24 hours. Yes, yeah, so and whenever you start to doubt yourself, remember who you were. Remember, who, uh, remember, the, for the, remember those who believed in you. An old person from the past. Yeah, somebody's, somebody's reminiscing. They say it without you. Okay. So, don't be surprised if this person come back. But I feel like they're reflecting at this moment. So, you might be feeling their energy. Because this person is in their head heavy. And they are burdened by it. This may also make somebody want to come back towards you. Yeah, you said you got some good ish, um, some good issues about to happen. Don't let your issues if it up. Okay. So, what is the end of energy? What do else do Capricorns need to know for the next 24 hours? I'm going to reject this off. <laughs> It said reject this alpha Capricorn. Okay. So, baby, look, I'm happy to play. Get yeah, that play too much. Let's see what they're going to pull from over here. I'm going to reject this alpha. Yeah, that spirit saying so amazing. What is this? Because I feel like this person don't really have that much to offer. I feel like it's going to be the same. It's like going to be the same repeated thing. What is this? What's, what's the advice for this one for yeah, somebody said looking at photos, missing you, making new memories. Someone want to come towards you and make new memories because they looking at old pictures of y'all. It's like somebody worrying about an image more than it, but they ain't focusing on how much con uh, conflict it was in a relationship. Yeah, some of y'all might be healing from a, a broken heart or you being called to. I feel like a lot of y'all are healing from a broken heart. Yeah, there's also somebody that needs to um, make some type of decision to heal their broken heart. Yeah, because they're going through some type of um, towel moment. It's asking them to change. I feel like somebody thought they run out of time, and that's why they could be want to come towards you. But it's just like, don't worry about time. You need to worry about you. This is somebody who put themselves last all the time. You could be, you need to be over there healing, but you want to run behind Capricorn. This is somebody who see wedding or wedding rings with you, but it's like they're not ready. Like, if they're not healing themselves, how they going to be able to 
open up for you and give you what you want. And they ain't even giving themselves what they want. Like, this could be somebody that's a people please. They want to please you and please everybody else around them. And then when they suck the shrug, nah, nah, they, like, you know, you don't want somebody in your life that they try to make you happy, but they not happy. And that's how they start cheating. You get what I'm saying? Because somebody might put you on a pedestal. Yes, said get the F out your head. It said get in your heart. It misses you. You think someone lying. They are. He said drop the F ego. Yo, this is somebody who... Like, they might be a sad soul. Okay? Where they don't... They don't, they don't, they don't people please so much to the point they don't even know what they like anymore. Okay? They had a potential to be a good person. But it's just like they, but it takes some healing. They need to heal. Yeah, good things take time. Be patient. I feel like somebody can actually be a giver, but I feel like they just gotta heal through some stuff. Yeah, somebody also wanna come around for this baby. That's all they want. They want to say, uh, the client is off. Okay, so I hope y'all take a resonate leave with not and enjoy your holiday. I love you, and I'm gonna talk to you later, my love. People are gonna label you. It's how you overcome those labels. That's what matters.